The member for Canning. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline to the House what the government is doing to ensure that Australia has a strong economy that creates jobs and reduces cost of living pressures? How does a competitive economy help hardworking Australians get ahead, especially in regional parts of Australia like Canning? Yeah. The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't be scared. Won't the Treasurer you. knows the rule on crops. It's coal. It was dug up by men and women who work and live in the electorates of those who sit opposite. From the Hunter Valley, as the member for Hunter would know. It's coal that has ensured for over a hundred years the that Deputy Australia Prime Minister. has enjoyed an energy competitive advantage that has delivered prosperity to Australian businesses and has ensured that Australian industry has been able to remain competitive on a global market. Mr Speaker, those opposite have an ideological, pathological fear of coal. There's no word for coalophobia officially, Mr Speaker, but that's the malady that afflicts those opposite. But it's that malady, Mr Speaker, that is afflicting the jobs in the towns and the industries and indeed in this country because of their pathological, ideological opposition to coal being an important part of our sustainable and more certain energy future. Affordable energy is what Australian businesses need to remain competitive. They can't fizzle out in the dark as those opposite would have them do as businesses in South Australia are now confronting. So on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, you will not find a fear of coal any more than you'll find a fear of wind, except for that which comes from the Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, you won't find a fear of sun, you won't find a fear of wave energy, you won't find a fear of any of these sources of energy. Member for but McEwen. what you will find is a passion for the jobs of Australians who work for businesses that depend on energy security that those opposite want to switch off, just like the South Australian Labor, Labor government is switching off jobs and switching off lights and switching off air conditioners and forcing Australian families to boil in the dark as a result of their dark ages policies, Mr Speaker. Now, that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing we're doing to stand up for Australian businesses. Our company tax cuts that those hypocrites opposite used to support and now the oppose. Minister there will is the winger from the minister, the, minister, the minister will return to the dispatch box. Uh, he will withdraw two unparliamentary remarks. I withdraw, Mr Speaker, unreservedly. But, Mr Speaker, when it comes to our company tax cuts, when it comes to energy prices, what I do know is what someone else who knows a lot about digging things out of the ground for the great prosperity of Australians, and that's Twiggy Forrest. And this is what he has said today. This is what he said today. Don't worry, he'll give you a dinner invitation later, Leader of the Opposition. You can crawl your knees under his table too, as the Prime Minister said yesterday. He said, we've kept our power prices high, which lowers the standard of living, and if we keep our, our tax rates high, we will jack up unemployment and keep people out of work, Mr Speaker. That is the policy prescription from those who sit opposite, and they should be ashamed.